Prime Minister Modi will inaugurate ITUWTSA 2024 and India Mobile Congress 2024 focusing on the future is now with over 3000 global industry leaders attending. Samajwadi Party chief Akhilesh Yadav criticized the Yogi Adityanath government proposing to rename Uttar Pradesh governor's residence from Raj Bhavan to Seva Bhavan. Congress leader Jairam Ramesh stated that Prime Minister Modi will consult opposition leaders on the sensitive India-Canada relations following the expulsion of six Canadian diplomats. <music> Hiraman Bika Khoskar, Congress MLA from Iktpuri, officially joined Ajit Pawar's NCP, strengthening the party in Nashik ahead of Maharashtra's assembly elections. Prime Minister Modi met classical musician Bharat Balwali launching his biography Bharat Vakya and praising his passion for culture and spirituality Opposition MPs boycotted the Vax amendment bill presentation citing concerns over the Karnataka wake scam report and demanding the removal of committee chairman Jagdambika Pal Zimmin and Palamu Jharkhand express gratitude to pm modi for the lakhpati didi yojana which has transformed their financial conditions and empowered them socially chief minister mohan charan maji has directed the inspector general to monitor the investigation into the alleged sexual abuse of an odisha woman rescued in delhi the ministry of environment announced plans to shift cheetahs from kuno national park to gandhi wildlife sanctuary by the end of this month <music> jdu mlc neeraj kumar questions the motives behind giriraj singh's hindu swabhiman yatra emphasizing bihar's inclusive development under chief minister nitish kumar Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma announced that over 40,000 people have joined the BJP in 93 constituencies, with Baksa being the latest to achieve this milestone. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma announced that over 40,000 people have joined the BJP in 93 constituencies, with Baksa being the latest to achieve this milestone.